another mother of the day. I don't know if she's around. Mrs. Brandy, I don't know if she's around. Spiritual mother of the day. Mrs. Okodobe. Okodobe. Let's put our hands up, Mrs. Okodobe. To the high table. Please put your hands together for this wonderful woman. I'm honored to introduce you. I'm honored to know you. With the word of God. Blessing them with the word of God. Without wasting time, put your hands together for Pastor Florence of Bongate. Please, wherever you are, please come to the high table. Please, come to the high table. Please. You definitely go. Anytime you say you want to go. Without being told, uh, one of her prayers have come to pass today in the life of Mr. and Mrs. Oboye. So I'm proud of her mother. Yeah. A man that some of us know very well is humble, committed, dedicated, focused. Without wasting time, let's welcome to the high table Mr. Victor. Put our hands together for Mr. Victor. You are blessed in your family, you are blessed in your money. I don't actually I've not met with you before, but anywhere you are, please. Please, I beg you in the name of God. We recognize you. And as the bride or the Groom will give me more signals. I will call people to the high table. Yes. So I heard you go to Torino, Brescia, Padova. Um, people are talking about him every day. It's no other person than DJ Rock. Thank you. Thank you. I also stay here in Bologna. Once again, I want to welcome, up, welcome every one of you for showing this love, coming all the way from your different destination to come and honor this program. Without wasting time, I want to call on our mother, our mommy, who has made this blessing to come pass. As we stand up for the closing prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prayer. I just want to say one or two things because I will not be staying yet and closing due to the program we are having in the church. I want to say big thank you to the both family that have seized it possible to meet and let today become a great day. I want to say big thank you especially to the family of Okodobe, they really showed the love of God. They are indeed mother. With the way I see them this morning, I want to say big thank you to you. It is my prayer that this harmony that God has placed in your midst, may it abide forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I want to say, please let's... Welcome Mrs. Charity to the high table, straight to the high table, wherever you are, please come straight to the high table. You still have more space there. Please put your hands together for Mrs. Charity, our special woman. Time will not permit me to really explain. But I want to welcome Mr. the chairman for the day, Mr. Ola, to give us the opening speech. Because 
my own prayer is no good things will escape me. I don't know about you. As we are wishing, I mean, wishing them all the good things that will, all, that will always accompany a good marriage. I have said it before. For any marriage to be successful, it is not said that the number of people that are witnessing it, but there's only one key to the success of every wedding. Understanding. When you understand each other, even in your absence, who can say no, he's not my husband. You can say he's not my wife. Or you can say yes, that is my wife. If they say something happens somewhere, yeah, yes, I know my wife can do it. But if you don't understand your wife or you don't understand your husband, how can you say yes? I'm sure. No. Then the bad thing. No, 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 no. Don't put away the work with my husband's name, put away my uh, wife's name. When there's something talking about any bad thing, because I know my wife, she cannot do it. I know my husband, he cannot do it. So please, understanding is the key to every success in anybody's wedding. If you don't understand your husband or you don't understand your wife, there is no way you can go ahead. And to understand your wife or your husband, they are not. You must talk and talk and talk and talk. There is no limit to talking. Because when you open your heart to your spouse, it is only when you can understand. Because somebody that is close to his or herself, there is no way you can understand that person. Please, I'm saying it before again. There is no wedding where there are no misunderstandings. But when you know each other very well, you will be able to iron things out without raising up hands. Please, I pray no evil will enter into your wedding. By the grace of God, that baby I'm seeing there. Many will come. I'm not saying many that will come and destroy your home, but many that will come and bless your home. Because it is not, some people will say, I, I want children, but they don't define the kind of children they want. But in, in my own case, I pray that the children you will have will not be the ones that will come and break your home. And my prayer today is for everybody, not only today, as we are witnessing this wedding today, I hope many people will come and witness good things in your homes. In Jesus' name, I pray on. Thank you very much. Let me start now. Please, I want the cola to be ready because we're going to bring the cola straight away. So, he's 74 years. He was born in September 29, 1936. Okay? How many years in our room? Minus, minus eight years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Before they bring the cola, who can tell me the richest man in this land, Italy? His name is not that person that Michel Ferrero. I don't know if we're culture, I don't know if the Canadians are here. But what we are about to do now, we want to reserve our culture. And normally it is the the oldest man in that occasion that breaks the collar. Sometimes they'll say a title chief in that occasion, a palace chief. So I don't know. Um, I look around, almost everybody here are youths, including Mr. President, we are all youths. Please let's put our hands together for this school I have never seen. So you will do me the honor. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. 
But he is an Edo man. It's tradition. If you had called me, I would have, I would have proven wrong. You know. Because I have witnessed series of occasions where they call.